Good afternoon, Elisa. Good afternoon to ma'am. Okay, Elisa, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Maria Elisa Cañete Asho, 37 years old. I have a single, single mom. I have four kids. I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I work as a maid because I need to support my four kids and I want to spend money. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia because I like this culture and climate and not far in the Philippines. How are you qualified for this job? Uh, based on my experience, ma'am, I'm hardworking. Okay. May I know what your educational level is? High school graduate only, ma'am. What was your recent working experience? Uh, I worked before in Amman, Jordan. Okay, so you were a domestic worker before? Yes, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. And whose baby are you taking care of? Yes, ma'am. My own experience, ma'am. Whose baby are you taking care of? My... My kids. Okay, your kids. How about elderly? Um, my grandma, ma'am. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Uh, I know how to say word, ma'am, and gardening. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Only Filipino food, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Uh, on the kitchen, ma'am, and all surrounding. Uh, you mean you want all the work? Yes, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? Uh, my ex-husband, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. It's okay, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to select the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing, abusing your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. It's, it's okay, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to go to your family three times in a month. You are only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulations for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your attitude? I'm... I'm helpful, caring. Helpful and caring. Yes, ma'am. I'm hardworking. How can you assure to us that you work hard in Malaysia? Based on my experience, ma'am, uh, I need I need to work because I need to support my four kids. Okay. Can you promise not to use your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? 
Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand some of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any diseases, allergy, or physical defects? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Uh, I'm fit to work, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working here in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, and so we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Yes, ma'am. Okay, upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what do you do? I finished my contract, ma'am, because I need this job. Because I have four kids to support them because, because he that's all in the school. So your family members passed away. What help would you give to them? Um, I I send I send money, mom. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, tell us about yourself, Elisa. Uh, I'm Maria Elisa Ars Tanyati Asio, 37 years old, single mom. I have four kids. And why do you? And I work in Malaysia as domestic helper because I need this job because I need to support my four kids and I want to spend money, mom. Okay, if ever your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? Um, good afternoon, mom. If you choose me, I promise to do my best and I follow your rules and finish my Contract. Okay, thank you very much, um, Marisa. We will update the agency. There is a selection made by the employer. Ma'am, thank you, ma'am.